Guys, it is again 2022 and I wanted to do something a little different this year and talk about trends. So 2020 trends, what are those trends looking like for the year? Today's episode was brought to you by my new book, Why Style Matters, The Mindset of Dressing Well and How It Impacts Your Life. To get your autographed copy, click the link in the description. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you trends for 2022. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Asan, the Style Jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Waffle knit thermals. Guys, waffle knit thermals is always a great way to give you some versatility. I like the ruggedness of it, but also it gives you a bit of sex appeal. And there's some color variations. You can also look at two different styles of a traditional crew neck or the Henley style for that thermal. Get your sex appeal on, fellas. Silk scarves. Silk scarves gives you a level of sophistication and elegance. And this is something that you can have for a long time. Pick and choose wisely, but it's also a trend this year. Vest. Vest is an option that I haven't used that often. And so this is something I'm gonna try new in 2022. It's trying to rock it and mix it with how I do things and I think you should try it too. Glasses. Glasses are a big deal in 2022. We were talking about color variety, conversation starter, and like I always say, make your boy look a little bit smarter. Use your glasses as another way to speak and tell your personality. Extra cozy sweaters. Now the extra cozy sweaters, you know, you can have that relaxed but classy feel. I think it's a great option for you, again, for layering. But when you really want to chill and you still want to look a bit good, you want to have that dapper vibe, go ahead and purchase you one of these cozy knit sweaters. We're gonna switch it up a little bit and go retro. We're gonna start with a full placket polo. And what does that look like? It's the placket that goes all the way down your shirt. This retro look, you wanna think about like movies like Casino and Goodfellas, where back in the day, guys really rocked this shirt and also wore it with trousers. I think you can do that. And obviously you can, you can dress it down with some jeans, but use it for versatility, know that it's retro, and then it, that style or trend may come in and out, but it's something to consider. Speaking of retro, your varsity jacket. Varsity jackets are still in this year, and we're talking about the varsity jacket styles of the 50s, but with a modern twist. We're not talking about the ones from the 90s that are oversized, but more of that tailored fit, and you can definitely dress it up or down and bring some personality to your look. Flare trousers now, we're talking about, this is a stretch guys for some of you, we're talking about that Saturday Night Fever or that John Schaff bell bottom. Now look, for me, I have a mixed, mixed feeling about it, right? Because my experience in the Navy gave me some little broadness of perspective about those bell bottoms, because we used to wear them as bell bottom dungarees. So it might be a push and stretch for some of you, but it may create some conversation and also stretch your look a bit. Heavy chains in 90s style. Now guys, this style is up to you. For me, I live that life. I don't have to go back to the 90s and wearing big jeans, big oversized clothing and truck jewelry, but it's up to you and it's an option, but keep in mind, it is a trend. Elevated sweatsuit. This is something that I really stretched my personal style because I wasn't into sweatsuits that much, but with COVID and things like that, where you're not getting out as much, you're not dressing up as much, a really nice tailored fit or slim fit sweatsuit will really give you that versatility, that comfortability, and also you can dress it up or down. And I really like that look and it's something that I'm gonna use in my arsenal for 2022. Shoes, 
We're gonna talk about two types of shoes for the fall and winter. You gotta get that duck boot. That's gonna help you with all this inclement weather we're having. And also, you don't wanna mess up your shoes, right? So the ducks will give you an opportunity to have somewhat of a stylish look, but not mess up those leather shoes from inclement weather, and that's super important. Then the other in the spring and summer, I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm gonna try the skate shoe. There's a bunch of varieties of brands, but try it out and flex your style today's cheat code guys today's cheat code is the duck boot it is a cheat code that a lot of people don't really play around with i've always wanted to wear them and i think you should put it in your arsenal it gives you variety flexibility it also gives you the opportunity to extend the lifespan of all your other shoes because they're not getting wet because you're rocking those duck boots if you want to see what i'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis check out my instagram there you'll find a ton of looks or maybe some inspiration. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, fellas, share it with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, it's 2022. There's some trends out there that might work for you, and it might not. Try them, but keep in mind always, how long can this trend be extended in the lifetime of your style? And I'll see you on the next one.